Right, hello. You're just in time. I've got one piece left. Well, there's lots of pieces left, but there's one petal left to do. I thought I'd bring you in or do a little little two minute vid just to show the last petal going in. We've then got sixty no fifty. I've got 50 of these triangles to do and six of these they remind me of a kite actually bat wings kite so got six of those 50 of those that's 56 we've got 57 parts left to cut and shape but I brought you brought you in just to show the last one going in Just starting to get used to it now, as you do. And I've been doing each, they look perfect. Each cutout, they all look really quite good, quite neat. but there are very slight differences on each one and then we got a bit of wood left is that big enough barely project is starting to look nice now long time in the making as all of my projects are I don't do I always seem to go the difficult way around or not so much the difficult way around but I don't make simple things Not really. Always look to try and make something that you don't generally see. Total one-offs. Although, I may make another one of these boxes. But I might make it in the round. So a round box, a lift off lid, and everything cop um, with, with comp um, compartments on the inside, which could be quite could be quite interesting. Anyway, let me give me two seconds. Let me just slice this piece.
right, that's that done. Now it's just a case of shaping, shaping it to fit. They are all pretty close. I'll cut each one just a little itty bitty bit bigger. I say I'm not perfect. I can't I can't cut everything perfect every single time. So with an with the knowledge that it's easier to take a teeny weeny bit of wood off uh, put the needle file take a section take a, a slither off a few grains it's a lot easier to remove wood than it is to add wood this sort of thing you can't you don't add wood you would just I would just cut a new one I've only made one mistake so far with this and that was because I was trying to be clever I picked I tried to use I, I traced one petal and I tried to use that as the pattern for all of them or I was looking to do that the first the first one was obviously spot on because it was the pattern for the part for the for the hole it was going into the second one showed up just how showed up the differences in each cut I've still got it somewhere I haven't done a lot of filming on this simply because it's so repetitive I don't want to film and try and turn into a, a full, full blown video each cutting the same piece out over and over and over again just a very very slight chamfer on each one just so that it locates easier That will do that one. Now for the gluing up.
piece going in, well, the last petal going in. As you'll notice I've got micro gauze on my fingers. And I'm filing my fingers away. Ninety petals. It's not looking too bad. You might not, not very probably won't get it on camera, but as the wood, as I turn this piece in this light the wood does change colour, I don't know if you can see it that well on there, on the film. But that's it, that's that. And now, we've got to do the triangular bits. Fifty of them. Yes. And that could be fun as well. So, that's the update, just quick, quite blunt, quite to the point, but it is now looking to, it is now starting to look like a, a nice pattern. Yes, quite pleased, quite pleased. Anyway, folks, we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 